suggest how much of a problem is the existing coronavirus business interruption loan scheme or Sybils? Well, we still hear that that 80 percent government guarantee is slowing the process. Well, I can speak now to Martin Bellamy. He's the CEO of Merchant Bank Salamanca, which has set up an advisory process to help companies access the scheme. Martin, welcome to you. We heard this morning from uh, from the banks that they don't envisage any problems with the bounce back loans schemes. Can you see any? Well, I, I think there are uh, tremendous problems, actually. Um, the, uh, the idea behind uh, C-bills, the strategic thinking, I think, is, uh, is 10 out of 10. Uh, the problem is the actual technical execution uh, is lagging way behind where it should be. Uh, and I think the real problem that we face is that uh, given that the uh, RSMEs are really the engine room of our economy, uh, nearly 6 million SMEs in the UK uh, contributing uh, nearly 50% of our GDP, um, this uh, virus is going to have an extremely long tail, and there are many, many SMEs that are really struggling. And the, uh, there is, a, in my mind, an urgent requirement to make changes to C-bills even now, because the problems that many SMEs are facing are only just starting. And of course, because the, the lockdown is going to be gradual, the future is uncertain, the economic shock for SMEs is going to have a very long tail. So I think that um, whilst the banks are probably generally do, genuinely doing what they can, there are some urgent uh, require, um, changes that need to be made. And I think that um, we are in some uh, form playing catch up and we, we really need to get ahead of the curve. Martin, with the new bounce back loans, the banks won't be running background credit checks or assessing the long term viability of applicants. Is that an open door to fraudsters? Well, look, I think that um, uh, the, uh, the mechanism that the government is putting in place is necessary. Uh, I think there will uh, be some applications that are without merit and may slip through the net. But I think that the view that uh, everyone has to take is that to save the many, uh, we may have a few bad apples in there. And that's something that we may have to live with. And it uh, perhaps is a cost of COVID-19. But I think that what we need to be careful of is that the B bills, as they're called, do not mask uh, or overshadow the problems of the C bills, uh, because the real problem is going to occur if uh, many of our SMEs fail, uh, because they just cannot go through the process that's required, because it's a timely process at the moment. Uh, the banks have to go through due process. Um, it's very difficult to shortcut the corporate loan, given the uh, instructions from the Treasury and the central bank. Um, and so my, my fear is that the B bills will somehow mask the problem with the C bills. All right, Martin Bellamy, good to see you. Thanks for joining me. Thank you.